we're doing then, Lou? So, we're just gonna have a walk around these hills, I think. It should be really nice. And it's about one o'clock, so early afternoon. Ow, I've got my finger stuck. Oh, that's better. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is what I have to live with, people. <laughs> taking it easy today. We... Sporting your new glasses. Yeah, do you like them? These are my birthday present from John. What happened to the last ones? Bella broke them. They were on a, a, a like a neck strap and they were hanging down here and she jumped up and just snapped them to bits. But now I have new ones. <laughs> <laughs> That was shattering. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit higher there, but can we do it? Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> Let's go have a little rest here first. We'll go up to the next peak. I think that is the last one. And then we can say we've we actually the been to the top. Don't tell anybody, Lucy's gone for a number two. You know, the one thing about van life and all of the van life as we follow on YouTube is that nobody ever talks about how you go to the toilet. And the truth is, I mean, there are various ways you've got a motorhome or a van, you might have a chemical toilet, or you might have a toilet with wood chippings, or what, you know, there are various more eco-friendly versions than using chemical toilets. Um, but when you don't have the space for a toilet, then you have to go back to basics. You have to dig a hole and you can bury it. Uh, you just gotta make sure that you're being responsible about how you you know, where you do it, how you bury it. But the, the truth is, everyone has to do it. Um, and we choose to, one of two ways actually, we either dig a hole, we've got a spade that is, uh, or a shovel that is attached to the outside of the car. Uh, we find a, a quiet place, we dig a hole and you do your business, you fill it in. The other way is that we treat it just like we do with Bella's. You bag it up, you put it in the bin. Now, somewhere like this, we're in a community of other van lifers and the Spanish have amazingly put public bins in these areas so that people don't leave their rubbish. So it's fantastic, you can bag it up and you can put it straight in the bin, um, which means you know, you're not burying it where other people are. Um, but, but if you're in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing wrong with it. Shame. How was it? Great. I've explained to everybody our process. Oh, great. Sorry, I was a bit longer. I was just taking some pictures of some wildflowers and using my plant app. Oh. I found some common thyme, Lovely. lavender, and uh, white rock rose. Wow. Yeah. Meanwhile, 
far. <laughs> Me and Bella stood up, no chairs. I don't want to go inside. <laughs> Lucky we have water. There you go. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> super nice bio uh, veggie burgers and we're going to have them in a ciabatta with some fried onions, pepper, a bit of gherkin and tomato and I might make a like an aioli to go inside for. Nice. You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Right. With you and I, the future is bright. 